What's up, everybody? Richard Jarrett, Cosmic Wonder, jumping on, giving everybody the big what's up. Hope everybody's doing awesome. If you're not, get at me. Got amazing stuff going on every day, day in, day out. Things uh, just completely mind blowing. Uh, the more we evolve consciously and understand things, and we see amazing things going on within these communities that are really shifting uh, the power structure of the ancient texts and, you know. Some really cool stuff. But anyway, I always like to jump on and talk about amazing subjects and uh, really cool things that we have access to today, like books, you know, and uh, some of these writers, when they were writing, you know, had to go through some really tough struggles to understand some of the things to write in hopes that, you know, their fellow brothers and sisters would understand, and especially years and years down the line. So... If you get a chance, jump on, go to your Kindle, um, check out Colonel Bo Grice, Call to Serve. And this is, you know, for Memorial Day. Uh, I think very important for every human being on this planet to really understand, but especially Americans. Um, this is a detailed, thick book. There he is right there, Colonel Bo Grice, S similar to uh, Bill Cooper, who also was in the Vietnam War. But uh, when you read his works and understand what he's telling you, what he's talking about, he's now vindicated of uh, what we now know today to be a farce when it comes to what media is telling us what these wars are about. And so you know, we really need to stop being so casual and uh, really take charge of, you know, really put an end to these institutions that we, uh, we all use alphabet letters, you know, NBC, ABC, CBS, Fox, all those, all those crazy bastards, you know, and nobody buys the shit anymore, everybody I talk to is like, well, what the fuck's going on, so... You know, it's not to be worried about, but we need to shift. We need to stop looking at these individuals as celebrities or these talking heads like they're somebody special and really call them out for who they are and, uh, you know, really uh, do these guys the real justice, the ones that have laid down their lives uh, for these fraudulent wars, you know, and they were cooked up by non-Americans when you study Brzezinski and you study Henry Kissinger and you really understand these guys are the real middlemen between the invisible government and the real hidden power which are these banking families and these uh, from the Vatican and uh, they're the real movers and shakers and you know Israel's in there on it you know they're all in bed together and they're all creating they're the hostiles and the empire you know so, uh, anybody get a chance, check out Solo Big Ups to my boy, uh, taking me out with the fam and checking that out. That was real. You know, all those stories are really telling you a lot more. The writers know it, but you don't see them speaking out, really. Um, so you really got to take charge, take action like you do anything in this uh, digital space and digital realm of knowledge that we have access to for aspiring historians, for journalists, or anybody that or anybody that wants to ascribe to the truth, uh, it's within you, you know, you have to dig deep within, and once you really resonate with that, what's up within you, you can really sift through, and it's important to get all many, many books, especially if you're dealing, depending on what subject, so you can get a, a right array, not just one group, or one sect, or one, you know, groups, you know, of uh, credentialed, you know, people you gotta go to them all at all different times and then that's when you'll start to see a different story unveil and you have that power so anyway i love jumping on and bringing that uh back to call to serve it was during the vietnam war and he just witnessed a lot of the movement and the heroin and trade deals same thing with afghanistan how we keep these heroin fields flowing to uh really boost up these markets and that's what they were doing back then and unfortunately, a lot of soldiers lost their lives. A lot of innocent people, um, indigenous people, have lost their lives in this madness that, you know, people are so naive and people are so distracted that they don't know what's really going on and they just believe everything they hear. So, you really got to dig deep, guys.
And most of you are. Everybody on the, the sides I'm seeing, the shift, and everybody's on board about taking the power back. So big ups to all that. What well, love, guys. Get at me. Uh, get the book. Uh, understand it. And then there's just a long list of other guys. Eustace Mullins. <coughs> Eustace Mullins. There goes the Primus. I'm showing you guys that. I've been digging the Nag Hammarty Library. Cheryl Massey's covering him earlier, guys. Yeah, old Eustace Mullins. He's another one go to. This is Murder by Injection. Story of the medical conspiracy against America, which everybody's well aware of. You know? It's all a joke. That's why everybody uh, needs to get their cog and water machines so they can eliminate a lot of that force that they pushed on us through keeping acidic bodies and encouraging acidic diets throughout the 80s. Pumping us full of sugar and meat. So, anyway, guys, the big shift's on, man. Take the power back. Rage Against the Machine sung all about it, so it's no joke. But uh, you got to power yourselves and power yourself as best you can. Make do. Love the ones around you in your circumference. And dig the only refuge is within the self through meditation. Yeah. So master it, guys. Um, one love. Peace out. Get at me. Link up. Click on links. We team up and do amazing stuff and really set the world on fire. Uh, anyway, have an awesome week. We'll get at you.